Bomb Defense XD <coughs> DX is quote unquote a new ability in Splatoon 2 that combines the effects of Bomb Defense Up and Cold Blooded into one. Both were pretty underused, and I meant to make a video talking about each, but then Nagami dropped the polymerization and Santa dropped some gifts. Before we get into the effects, I want to make sure you know that the name of this ability is a bit of a lie. I got some anti explosione, you may think, but then you go all DX when you get one shot by a sub. A direct hit from any sub or special will always splat you, exclusions apply, so this doesn't make you invincible to them. But what it does is give you extra protection for when you're in the non omawa motion the roof, but still gonna take some damage radius. And apart from defense against the boom booms, you also get reduced effects from tracking abilities like point sensors, stingrays, and those shirt abilities no one ever wears. So how much of this ability should you bring into battle? The optimal amount of bomb defense DX is a whopping grand total of 1 sub. Or 5 if you hate burst bombs. Let me explain. Without any protection, you will get splatted by 2 indirect shots from an inkjet, 2 bumps from a baller, 2 ink mines cause the first one's gonna put you in its ink, 2 directs from a burst bomb, and a portrait in a- wait no, and get tracked by a bunch of tracking… things. But with 1 sub of bomb defense XD, it now takes 3 indirect shots from an inkjet, 3 bumps from a baller, or 3 ink mines to get splatted. The tracking effect changes are pretty minimal with only one sub. They only reduce the tagging effect by about half a second. Overall, this is the best amount to use, especially given the prevalence of inkjet and ballers nowadays. If however you're the type of person who dies to burst bombs a lot, you might want to wear 5 subs of this thing because at that point it's going to take 3 directs from a burst to splat you. This also works well against tracking since at this point you've decreased the duration by about 33%. Point sensors will only last about 6 seconds instead of 9, and the invisibility distance between you and array or shirt has increased by about 50%. I wouldn't suggest stacking any more because it won't make you any more resistant to the point where you can take an extra hit from anything. But if you want to go all the way out and wear a pure set of bomb defense, then by all means be my guest and laugh at anyone who tries to use a tracking ability on you. Seriously, the tagging effect of point sensors and ink mines are both reduced to below 2 seconds. They disappear as soon as you get tagged. The effects on the stingray and shirt visibility isn't that amazing, however it's gonna nearly double the distance required to see you. But you still get splattered by a suck. And that's all I have to say about this ability. One sub ain't too many, and it's pretty easy to include in your gear set. So let me know what you think about Bomb Defense DX. Do you use it? Do you like it? Do you subscribe? Yes, please! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Suck.